Wicka 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 yeah boo boo Big black girl got a jacked up Oh 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 yeah Oh yeah Oh yeah Fuck yeah Oh 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 Wicka 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 Yo bitches my name is Van Quinn Yo motherfuckers my name is Santa I like to fuck some bitches I love to get high We're Santa and I'm the we're here to do a what did 22 Tiger Dude get for Christmas to Damn, that's a motherfucking long title. But we're here anyways to do this shit. So let's go ahead and start this motherfucking video. So ho ho ho. Hello everyone. I am Santa. I am the Penguin. And we're both here to just, well, tell you what 22 Tiger Dude got for Christmas. We did it last year. Last year was our first time doing it. This will be our second time doing it. A lot of you have been asking us to come back ever since then. So, here we are. I could be jerking off right now. And I could be watching the interview right now. But, whatever. Just whatever. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, anyways, let's stop chatting, chatting all this motherfucking shit. Let's get this started, bitches. Fuck you, Santa. Let's do this shit. Well, what 22 Tiger Dude got? Now, this one, he got the Dallas Cowboy Slippers. Now, I won't lie. I'm actually a huge fan of these guys. Um, I'm not really a big fan of them. Well, I am, so shut the fuck up. Anyways, these are nice slippers. You can wear them around, so he can get comfy. Oh, really? I thought you used slippers to jerk off. Um, uh, Santa. What planet have you been on? The planet of getting my jerking off on. Ho ho ho. Ah, oh, Santa, you're sick, motherfucker. Anyways, let's just move on with this shit. Yeah, before I get more vomit in my mouth. Help! You motherfucker! Why would you lock me in here? Because I fucking hate you. Ah! Ow! You just knocked me down! Yeah, that's what you did, you fucking bitch! Ah, can we just finish this shit up already? Um, yeah. Just get me the fuck out of this motherfucking book on box! Yeah. Ah, same shit I did last year. Ugh. Why do I always have to push the fucking cart? Ah, bah. Hey, it has penguins on it. Ah, look at those motherfuckers. They're happy, they're lovable, they're kind. Too bad I'm neither one of those things. Bunch of fucking pricks. Santa, you gotta come look at this. Um, I will, but someone just opened the fucking box and just flipped me the fucking over. Ah, uh, oh, big dick, Santa. I did with your mom. Shut the fuck up, Santa. My mother hates you anyways. <gasps> That's hurtful, Penguin, even for a motherfucking custer like me. Ah, whatever. No one gives a shit about you, Santa. Anyways. Oh, fuck. I never realized I had magic. Um, you're fucking Santa Claus, you motherfucker. Oh, yeah. Anyways. So, um, yeah, what do, you have to, what do we have to really say about this one? It's just the Xbox One. You know, technology is advancing more. And getting better. Yeah, so, is that all you have to say? Um, that's all I have to say. Okay then, well let's just move on before this gets even more fucking awkward. Ah, oh. oh man, this has been a pain of the ass. Oh man, I totally fucking agree. Well, do we have any more gifts? Well, we have one more. Born to just finish it up? Yeah, let's just get this shit out of the way, god damn it. Why does 22 Tiger Dude even have us do this shit anyways? Um, maybe it's because the public loved us? He did uh, pretty good with viewings and all of that. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, don't you know? And then we even got a few good comments saying how it was probably maybe his most hilarious video ever. Oh, yeah, that actually touched my heart. 
Which is funny because I have no heart. Yeah, me too. <laughs> See, something we have in common. We're both jackasses. Yeah. And we both have no hearts. Exactly. So, Penguin, are you ready to finish this motherfucker? Hail to the Penguin Asshole Yes. Does anyone even say that? Nope. Okay then, let's just finish this up. Hey, it has penguins on it. <laughs> Look at those motherfuckers. They're happy, they're lovable, they're kind. Too bad I'm neither one of those things. Bunch of fucking pricks. Yeah, agreed. Oh man, let me go ahead and fucking clear this shit. <laughs> oh, thank fucking God. Well, everyone, those are all the gifts 22 Tiger Dude got for Christmas. I really hope you enjoyed watching this. And I hope you all had a very Merry Christmas, a Happy Hanukkah, a Happy Kwanzaa, and a Happy Fucking New Year. Penguin, can't you go an entire sentence without saying fuck? No, I can't, you motherfucking cut-sucking little asshole-looking prick. Hey, I haven't even insulted you. Yeah, no, no, that's true. Ah, grow up, grow up, big dick, Santa. I did with your mom. Shut the fuck up, Santa. You don't, know, you don't even know what my mom is. You hate my mother. Shut the fuck up, Santa. My mother hates you anyways. Um, that's all I have to say. Okay, then, well, let's go ahead and move on before this gets even more fucking awkward. <clears throat> okay, then, well, let's just move on before this gets even more fucking awkward. <clears throat> uh, uh, uh. Ugh, I can't open it, Penguin. Oh, it's too fucking hard. Oh, oh. Ah, ah, ah. I can't. Damn, this is so fucking hard. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Damn, this is so motherfucking hard. Oh my god. Ugh. Oh, look at that right here, motherfuckers. Ugh. Oh, look at that, motherfuckers. Ugh. Oh. Wait. Oh, look at that, motherfuckers. Oh, oh this. Wow, look at this shit. Wait a minute. Oh, shit. Look at that! Ten dollars! Nope! There's another one under there! <gasps> Twenty and a ten? He gets thirty bucks for Christmas? What the fuck? I don't even get that kind of money until... I don't even get that kind of money! What the fuck? Oh, God! Well, there is still one more thing left! Bye! Don't be a stranger, and don't... Bye! Don't party too hard, because we all know how crazy that gets. Bye! And don't party too hard. <clears throat> Bye! And don't party too hard. Oh, shit. Bye! And don't party too hard. <clears throat> don't party too hard. Bye! And don't party too hard. <clears throat> Bye! Oh, <clears throat> Bye, and don't party too hard, because we all know how crazy that gets. Okay, you guys, it's the next big one. It's, 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 oh, fuck. It's the ultimate big one. It's, 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 oh, oh shit. Uh.
the interesting thing about this whole Santa and Penguin thing is that I didn't even think I was going to be making specials about them. I introduced them back in 2012. It's called the Ultimate Christmas Special. And that special, they were pretty much the, the they were pretty much the narrators. Their roles really weren't all that huge, but they the characters seemed to be very well liked that I decided to bring them back for their own Christmas special called What Did 22 Tiger Dude Get for Christmas? And it's something a little unique for me to do because when it comes to those kind of videos, you have that person presenting the gift. They show you what they get for Christmas, and that's great. But I figured I can combine two things. I could show people what I got for Christmas, but at the same time, I could show two toy characters that can cuss like sailors for them to introduce the gifts that I got for that certain Christmas. So I wanted to combine that with the two foul mouth toy characters and make a Christmas special out of it. And then the 2013 special did very well. You know, people seem to enjoy these characters, the characters that love the cuss. You know, I make the specials R rated for that reason. It's kind of like a little gimmick where it's just two characters that cuss, that are rude, and they're introducing my gifts. And I never consider myself the funniest person, but for people to say that I made a funny special, man, it really means a lot to me. And I was very proud of that project. You know, I'm glad to start out with these characters. And then, you know, I got good reception with the 2013 original special that Santa and the Penguin got. So that's when they came back the next year in 2014 where I made, well, obviously, the sequel to the 2013 original. And I'm getting a good amount of comments on the sequel. I'm getting likes, and I just all around really appreciate that. But it's just really interesting what I could do, you know? I just have a camera with my gifts with two toy characters. Yet, just with all that, I can make something very interesting something that's very entertaining and i think that's very fun for me to do because yes i cuss in my channel but i cuss when i express how i feel on a movie or tv show or whatever videos i do on my channel i cuss through these characters when i'm doing voices it's the characters cussing i'm bringing these characters to life and they're two toy characters that i have the thing i do try to be careful about when i make these specials is that even though they cuss i want to make sure they don't really cuss to the point where it could annoy someone because i truly understand that too much cussing can annoy that certain person and i'm gonna be honest how the sequel came together after i was done with all the filming and all the editing I was actually scared for the sequel. Yeah, I'll be honest, I wasn't very proud on how my sequel came out compared to the original because I could just tell you, I am 100% proud of the original. You know, I thought it was very well edited. I love the filming. I did cuss in that special, but I feel like I didn't go overboard. And with the sequel, the reason I'm not so proud of it was because I felt like I got a little choppy with the editing in a few moments and because I literally have cussed twice as more in the sequel than I did in the original and I was really really worried that my non-stop cussing with you know the f-bomb but surprisingly the sequel has actually done really well I'm getting comments saying how this is I got a comment saying how it's the funniest what I got for Chris's video and that really meant a lot and there I'm getting a comment saying how this was a very funny video and there's even one person that messaged me telling me that they thought it was better than the original. So after hearing all of the criticism behind the sequel and how people still found enjoyment in it, that's when I'm like, okay, as long as people enjoy the sequel, because I tried the best I could to make the sequel as good, or if not, at least better than the original. I'm definitely glad I can make something that pushes the R rating in terms of what the characters say, just go all out, and to see that people find enjoyment in it so as long as I know that I'm doing great with the specials then that's all that matters to me.